Hey VC, it's Scotty from Scotty's Record Shop with a, another artist feature on this Saturday night. It's been kind of an interesting day. Got a new um, new uh, computer, not a laptop. I'm using my laptop, but another a desktop, whatever you want to refer to it as. Uh, in a couple days ago, and spent the day just configuring it and all that fun stuff. But I thought I'd take some time off and show you some stuff. One group that uh, grew up listening to love them seen a lot of people make videos and come pretty close to having a pretty thorough collection of it um, mine is pretty thorough as well I just thought I'd throw mine in the hat actually a couple recent vinyl finds in these too because well I just felt the need to finish the um, the selection here the collection talking about the group sticks let's go through what I have different copies and Different variations, blah 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 blah. Put my mouse down, and I will show you what we got. First one, it sticks. Very first album. This is a wooden nickel pressing. Um, some really interesting artwork. I am so not a fan of what I'm going to show you next. What um, their their label uh, RCA did with them. With the label, with the um, covers, I mean. This is a reissue from the early 80s of the first Sticks album, which I've had for a long time. Um, I just, I hate the covers, personally. I know some of you like them, but I'm not a big fan. Um, this was one that I found earlier this month. Uh, I wish it was a wooden nickel pressing. It's not. It's a, an RCA, mid-70s. But at least it's an original cover from Sticks 2. Fantastic record. And this is the reissue uh, that RCA decided to do, calling it Lady. Same album. Just a different cover. Crappy cover. Next one. Serpent is Rising. This is, uh, yep, this is a wooden nickel pressing. From what, 74, I believe? Interesting artwork there. Next one is Man of Miracles. This is a, I believe this is an RCA press. Um, it's on the um, orange RCA. So that would really make it one of the first RCA pressings of this one. Then we move over to the a and M. No, I'm sorry, not A&M yet. This is actually a cool, this is a really cool pressing of the best of six. Um, this is actually a promotional copy of the album. And it is on wooden nickel. So um, doubly cool and making it really rare. Most of the time when you see this album, it's uh, issued on RCA. It's an RCA, but this is a wooden nickel promo that I've had for quite some time. Good record, too. Then we go into the A and M stuff. Equinox, Madam Blue and Lorelei, great record. And we go to Crystal Ball, nineteen seventy six. This is an original promo copy. You can see maybe you can see the promo hole right there. Yeah, you can. Uh, nice promo copy. That I picked up in Boston back in the 80s at Nuggets. Speaking of promos, this is one I showed not too long ago. Uh, the promo uh, pressing of, of uh, the Grand Illusion. With the poster and all the goodies. And um, I may end up getting rid of this eventually. But um, kind of being piggish having more than one copy. But this is a later... Pressing, you can tell by the um, barcode of this record. An American pressing of Pieces of Eight. Love this album too. Grand Illusion and Pieces of Eight could like be just one album. So great. And they toured that way too. They they toured with both those albums, doing the whole thing. Um, a U.S. pressing. Now take a look at this, and I'll show you the. A Canadian press. Um, if you can see on the Canadian press, it says sticks right here 
on the US press it does not and that's the same way on the UK press as well and the other thing I wanted to show you about this Canadian press this is a new find I'm so I love this it's a mint shape too get a load of this I know some of the people some of you have shown this but ooh, gold vinyl on the UK pressing it's actually clear vinyl I opted for the gold I just I don't know I just liked it a little better I had the chance to get either one. I went with it. Cornerstone. Yeah, this is an early 80 pressing. It's got the barcode. But uh, pretty good record. Love this record. This is an original pressing too from when I was a uh, when I was a kid. I bought this in, in 81. And I'm not going to bother pulling it out. You've seen the, the laser etched. Everybody knows about it. It's not overly uncommon. Um, some ring wear, but I, there's some sentimental value to this one. Because, like I said, I bought this the day that it came out, way back when. Kilroy was here. Bought this when it came out, too. Not the biggest fan of this record, but it's got some good stuff on it, nevertheless. And the, God, yeah, the live album. Um, like 84 ish or so something like that and that's that and that's what i have for sticks vinyl hopefully that or at least on album hopefully you've enjoyed this video got any questions comments concerns blah 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 blah, blah, blah. you know where to leave it right at the bottom thank you have a great day everybody and peace and love